Faculty of Law. I am Avinash Govanji, Dean of the Faculty. I hope you are all safe and well and coping with the stresses and strains of the lockdown. The Faculty has been hard at work crafting a balanced recovery plan that seeks to ensure that all students are given the opportunity to complete the 2020 academic year while maintaining the academic standards that are associated with our qualifications. As you know by now, our approach is based on two pathways and is flexible, encouraging students to participate in Pathway 1's digital learning opportunities while understanding that a second pathway will be necessary for certain students. A great deal of consideration has been given to appropriate methods of assessment based on the faculty's decision to move to a particular type of continuous assessment. Lecturers are able to choose their preferred mode of assessment, be it an online quiz or assignment, and guidelines and safeguards have been developed to support this and to ensure that appropriate standards are maintained. We will continue to communicate on our various platforms, mainly Moodle, about the details of our recovery plan, as well as further plans being developed for Pathway 2. I want to thank the Deputy Dean, Dr. Lynn Biggs, and the Heads of Department, Professor Joanna Boerta, Ms. Lindy Kutsia, Professor Dion Erasmus, and Professor Almeri Knutzer, for their sterling contribution in leading the Faculty's recovery plan, together with all the academic and past staff of the Faculty. I have been in regular contact with our student leaders, Ms. Dorcas Nodia, Mr. Luandile Masimanga, and Ms. Tamia Sauls, and would like to commend them for their leadership and support during these difficult times. I want to encourage all our students to embrace the challenges and opportunities that confront us as a result of this pandemic. The road to recovery for all of us, wherever we come from, is likely to be arduous, while the medical, emotional, and financial costs of COVID-19 are likely to plague us for a lengthy period of time. It is time to knuckle down and find the strength to do more than cope, to see opportunities for personal advancement and seize the gift of serving others who are in a less fortunate position while doing whatever is possible to remain healthy and free from the disease. I will soon be reaching out to our Dean's List students to volunteer their time to assist students academically at risk following the 2019 academic year, while our student leaders will be calling for senior students to volunteer their time to assist students who find themselves on pathway two. The staff of the faculty, supported by our team of postgraduate associates and academic support hub, stand ready and willing to assist all our students in whatever way we can as part of this journey. Please reach out to any of us whenever the need arises. Take care, stay strong, study hard and continue to help each other to progress. Thank you for taking the time to listen.